Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I'm here to show you guys another haircut. Um, this one's on Salon Gratitude guest Danny and the reason we brought him in is because he's got a really cool coarse curly texture to his hair and a lot of people have been asking, you know, what is the difference? How do I cut coarse curly hair? So we're going to use a couple different scissors, a couple types of different types of combs and we're just going to get get into it. So uh, you're going to see I start off using uh, what it's called fast form uh, this product is made by Paul Mitchell I like this product a lot as a base product for for anyone guys girls but just as kind of a cutting lotion because it's gonna allow me to section clean and just get the hair out of the way so you'll see me parting uh, parting the hair I'm gonna start at the parietal ridge just to separate the top from the bottom uh, I'm not looking to get uh, really find his part at this point but I'm just going in there and separating uh, those two different sections now we're going to start right at the sideburn area and we're going to work scissor over comb. Uh, you'll notice just that one blade is moving. You're going to notice that through the whole entire haircut. That's a really, really important detail when you're cutting uh, men's hair, cutting any hair, uh, to be honest. So we're going to start working scissor over comb. Get the length right from the beginning because the one thing that's going to slow you down in the salon is if you uh, start in the back, you cut it, you do the whole entire haircut, and then all of a sudden you got to go back in and cut it shorter. So we're going to start working at the temple area, really work in that sideburn. I'll go in later and, and even taper it more uh, with a tighter comb, but I just want to get the base length down. So going in there, I'm using the, the steady blade, which you'll see is the blade that's not moving, um, just to, to kind of balance on the comb. And then the other blade is coming down and cutting the hair. Now I'll comb all the hair forward and then just cut that nice clean line. The, the detail work in a men's cut is really what's gonna set it apart. So uh, now we're gonna work from that temple area back, so behind the ear. So I'll just kinda bend the ear out of the way and then work scissor over comb up from there. You can see how I kinda tap the hair down into the comb. The important part about that is really just keeping consistency with the combing. So you could just fly through it and scissor over comb quickly, but you're not going to get consistency, so you're not going to get a clean uh, faded line or taper in the haircut. Now we're going to work just using the tip of the scissor, cutting little by little down that hairline. So um, the first pass through is just to really cut um, the bulk of the hair out, then I'll comb again, and now I'm going to go through and really stick that line in there. You can see how sharp that line is. You don't have to use a trimmer every time you want to cut a hairline. Um, using the tip of that scissor is really going to give you just as straight of a line. And it's actually a little bit more handmade. You don't have to work with an inch by inch section. You can use just the tip of the scissor and really customize it. Now I'm going to go horizontal diagonal forward. Um, what I like about doing this is I'm going to go through and cut the bulk of that out. Then I'll go back through, um, cutting diagonal back, and it's almost like cross-checking a haircut. Just feather through, just taking off the, that corner a little bit. I want a soft line in Danny's hair. I don't want to create a harsh, uh, squared off back in this haircut. So then you'll see, now we're going diagonal back. Again, it's just like cross-checking, so we're working our way through it. And using that point of the scissor again, right in the back nape area, just to cut that straight line. You don't have to use a trimmer. I think that's what I want to get through in this haircut. We're gonna use, we will use a trimmer later, but really to get the basis of the whole entire haircut, you can use a scissor in the whole thing. Um, for this haircut, we're using uh, to start off for scissor over comb and, and techniques like that. We've talked about it in other videos, but we're using a longer scissor. This is a 6.5 uh, Mizutani blacksmith fit scissor. Um, works really well for us. It's a really nice barbering scissor. So now I'm going to work the other sideburn same way. Most important thing with scissor over comb is just really work on that technique and uh, and work on just moving the one blade. Once you get that, I mean, there's so many different things you can do with a scissor. Moving into the temple area, my focus is really as I hit that parietal ridge, I'm just pulling away with the comb. I don't want to uh, 
I don't want to take off that round of the head. Even if I'm going to do it later, I want to keep some of that length so I can play with it later in the haircut. Again, because I'm only moving the one blade, I can go right behind the ear and use that, that scissor just to cut around the ear. Uh, and I won't cut them because I have a steady blade sitting on the skin. Scissor over comb is a great technique because, um, I, I mean, I use clippers obviously in the salon as well, but um, using a scissor is, you're just working with finer sections. So if, let's say they have a lot of divots or, or movement within the head or different bumps in the head, you're going to be able to create a more custom feel to the haircut using a scissor because you're not working with as much. Um, you think about a, a clipper blade, it's really fat and thick. Um, so you, the lines that you're cutting are wider, so you can't control the weight distribution as much. I'm going to get under there, there we go. So you can see, same thing, just making sure that as I uh, work my way up the head or scissor over comb, my elevation kind of comes out, comes away from the head to create a little bit more of a, a longer length, I guess, as you hit the parietal ridge. The one thing with, with men's cutting is you really want to stay as consistent as possible uh, with everything you do. Because if, let's say a, a guest comes into the salon and you trim his eyebrows the first time he ever comes in. And he loves that and that's the one thing that he's raving about when he goes home. And then the next time he comes into the salon, you don't do that. Um, you know, it's the little details in a men's cut that's really going to set you apart. I mean, as a salon and personally for me, I love cutting men's hair and I'm not trying to take anything away from a barbershop. I'm trying to mimic what a barbershop does because I love the art of it. I love, um, you know, the, the different, just the detail work that goes into men's cutting I think is so cool. So um, for me, men's cutting is, is a really cool art all in itself. So I was still working scissor over comb, you're going to see working horizontally up the back of the head. Now we're just connecting both sides together. Um, real simple, but you can see as we stay steady, so I'll lift the comb up in, then we'll recomb it, and we'll go again, and we'll recomb and go again. You got to keep going over those spots and make sure that you have it nice and perfect. Each line is, is perfectly stacked in there. So you can see it's kind of a square back, but I didn't want the edges, the corners in there. So we rounded those off slightly. Now Danny has like a little bit of a cowlick in the back. So we're going to be working with that later as well. So I'm basically working to the low crown of the head and then I stop there. Now we're going in with our barbering comb. You'll see it's a much smaller comb and it kind of tapers out. Uh, this is a YS Park comb. Um, great place to get that comb would be at hairbrain.me. Um, they have a huge selection of these combs, but um, I like, now I'm working with a smaller scissor as well because I'm working in a tighter area. This, the big scissor is great for just kind of getting through the bulk of the haircut. Now we're working with our uh, Mizutani. It's an Ichi Nino San number one scissor. One of my favorite scissors, honestly. Uh, the quality of the metal is very, very soft and uh, it definitely cuts really, really good lines in there. So this is where we're going to work tighter to the head just to kind of finish those details. You can see how it blends really nice as you, uh, you work with that tapering comb. Now you wouldn't want to do the whole haircut really with this scissor and this is what you'll see in a lot of salons is hairdressers have one pair of scissors that they love and, and they basically use that. Well, you can see how small the blade is. You're not working with as much hair, so it's going to take you forever if you wanted to cut this whole entire haircut with this pair of scissors. So, um, but it works great. You can see it fits nice and tight into those tiny places. And we're working a little backhand technique, just because it's more comfortable for me, uh, right around that sideburn area, temple area. For me, cutting men's hair, again, it's not, 
I'm not trying to rush through any of my men's cuts. I really want to work on the details of it because that's what is going to stand it out. I mean, uh, guys want to get compliments on their hair as well. And this is the little tiny details are what people will notice about your haircut. So you see, we're going to work with the fine teeth of that comb, uh, real tight to the skin. And I'm just working with that tiny blade just to get in real nice and tight right around the hairline. Just to kind of clarify so you don't look at this and say, hey, we're doing the haircut twice. We're really not. Now I'm just kind of fine tuning everything. So I, I get through it quickly with the bigger blade and I cut kind of the length that I'm looking for uh, for the most part. Then I go through and I do little details. So right now we're going to take out the weight from the parietal, which we left on. Um, we had worked around the hairline, around the, uh, the sideburn area. So all of that, we're just tapering it in, tightening it up, cleaning it up. And so right now, there's always a lot of bulk right around that kind of recession line there uh, at the parietal ridge, um, right in the front of the head. So we're going to use a slide cutting technique. We're going to work on a diagonal. The blade is resting right against the head. And we go through half closing the scissor and just sliding it through on a diagonal. I've seen this technique hundreds of times. This is a very popular technique uh, to create texture in a men's cut. With curly, curly hair, this is a great technique because it takes out that weight and the bulk. Now, I don't want to miss this part. This is a great thing with just moving that one blade. You can really go through in detail right along the front hairline. And now we're going to do the slide technique, slide cutting technique on the other side. I mostly focus it, uh, for the most part, in the very front fringe area because I really want to lighten that up. And then we'll go through just a couple pieces in the back. And you really see that texture start to pop. Now, we're going to work in the fringe area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a guideline. So where I want the length. And obviously, we're not looking for dumb and dumber bangs. So um, I'm going to cut that length. Then I'm going to elevate. As soon as you elevate it, it's going to remove that weight line. So it's not super bulky laying on the forehead. So I cut my line of where I want the fringe to be. Then I pick it up and I remove the weight. And I'm just doing this right in the front. You'll see it's a diagonal section. It's going to give it a nice soft flow to the haircut. But I just want to remove that weight so it pops up in the front. Um, this works in straight hair, curly hair, whatever. But it does work really well for curly hair to take that bulk out. And I'm just looking for the guide. And you'll see still that one blade is moving. So that's one thing. If you're going to practice something, practice that. One more section you can see that I kind of slightly over direct it forward really what that's going to do is push the weight backwards um, so I'm really trying to shorten the front but keep it longer in the back same thing on the other side it's hard to see that angle but I did take a diagonal forward section again um, now we're going to go through we're going to bring it straight up in the air and all I'm going to do is point cut this at this point. I like the length of Danny's hair. Um, so I'm going to say his hair is about an inch long. Uh, this would be based on your guest's preference, but just going through and point cutting. So you'll see still again that one blade is moving. I'm keeping the basic length of the haircut. But I'm just going through and cutting little holes into it because it's going to give his curly hair a little bit more movement um, and texture. So just sliding that steady blade along my finger and allowing the, the moving blade to close down onto it. This is a great way to point cut because it's not going to allow you to cut yourself. Um, and you can go through it quickly uh, as you work through. Now I don't have to work that all the way to the front because we already cut the front. So I'm not worried about that. Um, now I'm going to go through the cowlick. I'm going to do a little freehand cutting around the cowlick because it's starting to stick out of his head. I don't want to hold it in my hands because what that's going to do is over direct it too much and then it's going to want to pop out. So right here I'm just freehand cutting it 
uh, just to go with the rest of the haircut. So really what this is going to be based on your when you, on your eye. Great way to practice this is on a mannequin because mannequin hair grows straight out from the head. So you can work on just kind of going up and cutting through the hair. Now, like I said, you don't always have to use a trimmer. So we're going to go through and just detail all those little tiny hairs that you see on a, on a men's cut. And I've used this in a lot of classes, but basically men's cutting is like uh, working with Photoshop. It's the little tiny hairs around the head, little tiny hairs everywhere scattered throughout the hair that are going to make your haircut look like it wasn't uh, clean. So just going through and detailing, taking out those little tiny hairs around the haircut are going to make your haircut really pop and stand out. So just using that steady blade. Now we went with our 6.5 inch scissor uh, this time because just, you know, it's going to allow a little bit longer line as you're cutting. So even the sideburn, we're going to finish it up there. So now I'm going to take a trimmer. Again, I told you I would use a trimmer in this haircut, but really just to take those fine little hairs and take, add any little last detail I want to the haircut, but there shouldn't be much in there. Um, working that uh, trimmer upside down backwards uh, just to really get close to the skin and take off those hairs. Also, a lot of times in the salon, I like to use a straight razor at this point, but um, you know, I'm, that's a different video, I guess. Work that rounded corner a little bit more just to soften it a little bit. Again, taking out those little hairs right around the head so you can see a nice clean look to it. Now we're going to go through, I'm going to place a gel into his hair. Um, we rinsed him out. This is going to allow me to set his hair. Um, a lot of guys look at gel as a finished product. Um, for me, this is, you know, the, the product that's going to set his hair to be whatever we want it to be. I love curly hair because you can really move it around and place it uh, differently throughout the head. So um, we're going to go in. Now I'm going to comb the gel into the hair, really evenly saturate it. So we're going to work a nice left hand side parting in Danny's hair, uh, give him a nice classic look. A lot of celebrities are wearing looks like this, so um, you know guys are going back to a cleaner look with their hair. It's not as much about messy texture anymore. Um, so I really like this haircut on him. I have a really fine texture hair, so uh, I couldn't just place gel in my hair and let it go. Danny, it's cool because he's got a thick, coarse, curly hair, so he can put gel in it, set it, and forget about it, and it'll be a great style. So now again, backhand kind of technique, using that steady blade right against the skin. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut right into the part. So you've seen this with a straight blade. You've seen it with a clipper, uh, probably. Uh, and you might have seen it with a scissor as well. This is not an invention, but it's how I like to do it. I like to set it with a scissor because a scissor I can hold steady for me. Uh, it works really well. I also like using a straight blade to do this, but we're just carving in the part line. Um, the cool thing about this is, especially in Danny's hair, it, this is going to give him a prominent part if he wants it. If he doesn't, he can style it, mess it up, and it'll go away. So um, it's not something that'll definitely be in there. But you can see how it just really makes that part line stand out so so well um, just using that scissor. So we work that through. Then right around the very front of it, I'm going to use a T-trimmer. Uh, this is an Oster T-trimmer. And I'm going to use that just to kind of 
wiggle it back and forth right at the part line. What that'll do is just kind of separate that very front edge. Um, I'm not going to go too far back with the trimmer. I don't need to um, because of the scissor cutting, but um, just in that very front where it, where it opens up at the recession line, you'll see it. Hope you guys enjoyed this haircut. Please check out all of our haircuts, colors, styles. Everything is all free on freesaloneducation.com. And we also have Mizutani scissors available for purchase for the best price that you can find. Uh, so check us out, freesaloneducation.com. And also on Facebook, Gratitude Salon Education to keep up to date with all of our latest free education things we have going on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and we will catch you later. Thanks.